Hi everybody, this is Ali Akbarian here with uh, Amin uh, from Mobility Engineering. We're here in front of the uh, Chariot Trailer, which is a product that we distribute in Australia from Bruno Independent Living Aids in the US. The Chariot is quite a popular product in Australia because you can carry scooters on it and power wheelchairs whilst having a very small vehicle and towing it on along behind you. So very, very versatile, very popular and a great product. So today we're going to run through a few steps on how to remove the product from your vehicle because it can uh, sometimes come across as a little bit complicated but it's not as long as you just follow the certain steps. So we're going to just go forward and um, basically run it through each individual step. All right, so the first step is the disconnection of the safety chain and bringing one of the safety chains around to secure it in place to work as a support for the hitch. So Amin's just going to show you what I'm talking about. You'll see that there's these two safety chains under there. He's just got to disconnect them. You can generally, typically disconnect them by hand. Um, sometimes you might need a bit of a uh, like WD-40 spray or, or pliers to kind of help. Um, it just depends on if it's been on there for a while or had some debris in there. So you basically undo the chain and you drop it and you go to the other side. Disconnect that one as well. Then what's really important, this, uh, this part of the step, is to bring one of those chains around and hook it on to the connection point of the other chain. So if you have a look at what we've done is we've brought the other chain around from the left and brought it around to the, part, uh, to the right. And what you'll see, there's like a loop that basically forms underneath the whole chariot hitch. And the idea is that that's not gonna, when we pull that out, it's not gonna drop and sort of hurt someone or something like that. So very important safety part and also very important to disconnect those um, safety chains or safety cables before we remove. All right, so step number two of re disconnecting or removing the chariot trailer from the vehicle is to fix the balance of the platform by dropping the platform. So what we're gonna do here is basically lift up the safety cover plate. Very important we do that. And then we push this thing to go down. Now what you'll see, I'm gonna just stop here before I um, explain so you can hear me. What you'll see is there'll be a sudden shift in, um, in basically the weight of the chariot. And when that shift happens, that knows that basically the weight is off the hitch and it's onto the back platform and it's gonna make removing it from the vehicle a lot easier. It's basically impossible to remove it if you don't do this. So you see that little drop? So now the uh, trailer is dropped the weight has shifted over onto the wheels and off the hitch, and now we are ready to go to the next step to, uh, to remove the vehicle, the, the trailer from the vehicle. Okay, so the next step here on disconnecting the uh, chariot trailer is removing the electronics. So we don't need the electronics anymore. We've moved the uh, platform. So there is typically two electrical connections with your chariot trailer. There will be your trailer light controls and a power control. Typically speaking, depending on the converter, that would be an Anderson plug. That's generally what we see out there. So basically what you would do is remove one and then remove the other. They should generally just slide straight out um, or you might need to just pull off the cap and then not pull it back forward like that. So we just remove that and we might sort of move it out of the way so it doesn't get damaged when we're moving it around. So on uh, the next step is removing the pin from the hitch and this is one of the final steps before we go to disconnect it. So you'll see here there is a uh, silver or chrome coloured safety pin on the hitch. Uh, there is a couple of different designs out there. Our earlier generation ones had a different colour or they might have had one that had a split pin. And the new generation ones actually come with a key operated lock. And we would actually always recommend that you would have one of those now. So even if you have one of the old ones, we would recommend you upgrade it to one like this because that's a key operated lock. So it means that it basically stays on there all the time and it can't break like those split pins. So you basically just remove that and then you come onto the other side and you, you pull the pin out and I can do that. Now, sometimes what you might find is it might be kind of stuck in there, bit of debris, just a bit of movement. In order to help it, you might need to get a little hammer and just sort of tap it to tap it out. Generally speaking, you shouldn't, but, um, but yeah, that's basically how that would work. And you can also use the platform weight once this is goes off and you've lifted the weight of the platform off the vehicle, it'll also make you moving that pin a lot easier. 
Okay, and so the next step in removing this uh, chariot trailer from the vehicle is to put this bolt through the little eyelets in the um, back of the wheels. So just a quick explanation of what happens with the chariot. If you've used one, you'll probably know already. The wheels swivel um, to track with the road and to help the, uh, basically, it helps make it much easier to drive. And basically, instead of the hitch swiveling, the wheels swivel. So once we move it out, it might make maneuvering it quite difficult. So what we want to do is drop a pin of some sort. We use a 10 mil bolt all the way through and then basically lock it in place. And we've also put a little split pin in there um, to make it a little bit easier, just so we don't lose the thing. So we put one on each wheel and that will help have that stability on there so it doesn't basically twist around while we're trying to disconnect. And that's that step. Okay, so now we're up to the final step. This is the fun part. We're going to remove it. So basically, the first thing is to remember all of the things that we needed to do. Quickly check to make sure that our safety chain is undone and wrapped around and supporting the hitch. Electrics is disconnected. The platform is down where the weight of the, uh, the chariot has shifted over to put the weight away from the vehicle. And we put in our bolts. Uh, through the eyelets and we've removed the uh, pin and now we're at the final step where we can just pull it off. So when we're pulling it off we want to just slightly shift the angle, pull it in towards us to take that weight off the hitch because it will be leaning on that and then we just want to kind of pull it backwards as we go backwards like that. We don't want to be moving it around basically too much. It is a heavy unit so once it's out we just leave it as it is and that's what it is. It's not really designed for me to be traveling it you know halfway around the backyard or something like that um, you want to kind of leave it relatively close to where you want to park and you disconnect it there that, that's sort of what we would recommend okay so that concludes the video on how to disconnect the chariot from your vehicle